Morning Early Edition. The containers are coming down. Arizona's governor announcing the state will begin the process of removing the shipping containers in Yuma's wall gaps. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Scott Gross. Adam Clapp spoke with local lawmakers on both sides about how this will impact the situation at the border as he starts our border coverage tonight. Well, as quickly as the shipping containers went in, Governor Doug Ducey now says they'll be removed from Yuma's wall gaps by January 4th, potentially complicating matters further along the border as it's harvest season for local farmers and migrant apprehension numbers are surging. Local County Supervisor Jonathan Lines painting a grim picture of the current state of the Yuma border. And it's a, <laughs> it's a disaster right now. With record local crossing numbers and the end of Title 42 looming. Line says the removal of the shipping containers will be yet another challenge. The border is still porous, but it's given them the advantage and the ability to maintain some type of order along the border. The local U.S. Congressman Raul Grijalva says it's time for the containers to come down, as he believes they were illegally placed. And it was a publicity stunt that has ended up costing uh, millions and millions of dollars to the state of Arizona uh, with, with uh, no result. While migrant crossings have only increased since the containers were placed, State Representative and local farmer Tim Dunn says they have served another purpose. It's food safety and we have strict protocol to make sure that when we look at if there's any animals or people that have been walking through the fields, we, we make sure that if they've seen that, then they have uh, they've put up uh, uh, flags and then they allow, don't allow the, the, uh, the produce to be shipped. Video from before the containers were placed in the gaps shows migrants walking through lettuce fields. So what will take the place of the containers? According to Ducey's response in court, a federal barrier will go in after their removal, but what the feds fill the gaps with and when remains to be seen. And while the border wall gap drama plays out in Yuma, San Luis, Arizona's mayor has declared a local emergency due to ongoing issues at the border in the southernmost part of Yuma County. Our Samantha Bird got an exclusive border tour with the San Luis Fire Department and has more on the challenges they're facing. Samantha. Thanks, Adam. That's right. I'm here in San Luis, Arizona at the southwest corner of the border fence with a group of migrants here behind me waiting to be processed and picked up by Border Patrol. I also spoke to the mayor of San Luis, San Luis Fire Department and San Luis Police Department about issues they're facing here in their city. San Luis, Arizona, one of the busiest port of entries in the state. But not everyone who crosses the border comes through legally, creating many challenges for the community. I rode along the border with the San Luis Fire Department to see exactly what issues they're facing, one being the city only having three ambulances. If, if we have additional calls of service to the fence area on, on the west side or any, any other fence area, um, it kind of depletes our services and it depletes the resources that we have for for the citizens that we serve, you know, the citizens of San Luis. San Luis Fire says it goes to the border two to three times a day for emergency medical calls. Adding that in the last two months, about four to five people have fallen off the border wall. We've had two fatalities that uh, uh, immigrants went on top of the, of the wall. They fell down and uh, uh, they perished. Another problem the city is facing is migrant trespassing and an increase in crime, overwhelming local police. Definitely the violence that has escalated around our community and around because of the border is always a worry. It has become very difficult uh, for over a year and a half now uh, and, and we're at that tipping point. We're asking you know, for the federal government, for the state government to come in, help us with you know, resources to be able to continue to provide these services to our community. This just after newly elected Mayor Nieves Rydell declared a border emergency last week. She says the port of entry will be temporarily closing during unspecified hours during the night and day with little to no notice due to issues with Title 42. They're doing drills, they're preparing. They are going to close that port and at any given time, they're not going to ask for permission. They got orders. If you're traveling to and from San Luis, Mexico, keep this in mind. Reporting in San Luis, Samantha Bird, News 11.